Take two, being genuine is one of the hardest things we can do in life. And there's two things that we need to be able to, to do to be able to be more genuine in our, in our world and show that. Um, and one of them is honesty and the other one is vulnerability. So how vulnerable and honest are you in the world? So these are the two main ingredients to get you really, really focused on being more and more genuine in your life. So a lot of people say, oh, yeah, I'm just being me. What I've shown in the academy and what we do in the academy is help people unravel what me is. So undefining all the constructs and all the belief systems and all the patterning that actually um, binds you to the agreements that you've put in place that you don't even know you're doing. So the number of times when I've seen people you know, unravel and, and start finding out more and more depth in their world about who they are, what they are and why they are, what, when they look back, they actually go, oh my God, I wasn't any of the things that I was thinking I was being. And that can be a real challenge. Um, and a lot of people say uh, when they're breaking through in the academy is, you know, I don't know who I am. And I get so excited about that because once you actually don't know who you are, you get the choice to create something new. But if you're confined by constraints, rules and reality, then you are going to be confined by that for the rest of your life. Now, right now, I have makeup on because I just gave my gorgeous wife a big smooch and um, time to get it off. Um, so, look, being genuine, this is this is me just putting a post up and not worrying about how I look. And I think a lot of the time, when we are, um, you know, putting up what we what we want to be and what we want to show, how often do we have the masks on? So you just got to check in and and make sure that you you know you take the masks off, let people know where you're at, and be honest and and. Uh, and and call yourself out it's okay to be sad it's okay to feel angry it's okay to feel the way that you feel and um, I think there's a really important asset around this is that the more that I've learned as a leader in the academy and sharing what I do um, the more vulnerable I have been the more reachable I have been for the people who I'm helping and that creates removes the wall between me as the leader and someone else as the student in the academy. So um, I don't put myself beyond or better than anybody else. I, I never do that. I don't think that's really um, a smart thing to do, a wise thing to do as a, as a leader. So um, you got to find that sweet spot that's going to make sense to you so you can actually um, feel really, really comfortable around being yourself as a, as a person helping people in this world if that's what you want to do. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. Time to take this makeup off. See ya.